Okay, so let's talk about the median now. Now, the median is the middle of your data. That is, you sort your data from smallest to largest. The number that's in the middle is called the median. You can think of it as the value that divides your sorted data into two equal sets of numbers. Now, there is a catch. Um, exactly what you do depends on whether you have an even or odd number of data points. But if you have an odd number of data points, it will be the number in the middle. There'll be a number where they'll have equal numbers below it and above it. Uh, for this example, you see in the screen, this data set one, there are nine values. So the middle is going to be, we go right around the fifth right here. This is the point where you see there are four numbers below it and four numbers above it. Uh, compared to the mean, which is 29.3, you can see the median and mean pretty close together here. That's not always going to be true. If you have an even number of data points, then you're actually going to have two numbers that are in the middle. In this case here, I have 10 numbers. 44 and 46 are both in the middle because at that point, there are four numbers below it and four numbers above them. What we do in this case is that we split the difference. If our two middle numbers are 44 and 46, we find the average and split the difference, we get 45. Again, in this case, again, it's very close to the mean of 45.1. Again, they don't necessarily going to be the same. All right, so let's try some examples. Now, suppose I ask you to compute the median of this falling list of numbers. Now, there are 10 numbers. The first thing you should think about is, you know, is your data sorted? So I look at this, 34, 13, 37, definitely not. So the first thing you want to do is you want to rewrite them. So smallest number to largest number. And I can see, I see 13 and then a 13 and then uh, I guess 23 would be next, 24, 25. Anyway, it should look like this. So here is the sorted data. Yeah, um, there are 10 numbers, so the median middle two numbers are going to be right here, 25 and 28. If I split the difference, that's going to be a median of 26.5. Now, suppose I cut off that largest number. Suppose I didn't have the 41. So I just have nine numbers now. Well, in this case, the median would be the 25 and nothing else to do. Let's try another one. In my science class, my teacher assigns each student a semester grade by finding the median of that student's test scores. Uh, suppose there are seven tests for that semester. Um, so far, I've scored as a 55, 78, 63, and 91 on the first four tests. So what's the lowest and highest possible semester grades you can earn? Well, done four tests, so there are three more tests. Well, if you want to figure out the lowest, let's just suppose that you got zeros and everything. So the lowest possible grade occurs when the last three exams are your worst three. So just make up something. They just say zeros. Uh, that would give you like 0, 0, 0, 55, 63, 78, 93. That 55 would be the median. So at this point, the worst possible grade you can get is a 55. Now, if I want to figure out the best possible grade, that would occur when your last three exams are your best three. So again, let's take that data set, the numbers, and let's say our last three tests were all hundreds. Well, in that case, the middle number would be a 93. So overall, you can score anywhere from 55 to 93, based on depending on how you do on your last three tests. All right, one more. Uh, in the first four games of Homer's five bowling games, he gets scores of 212, 184, 165, 173. So one more game left. And if I put these in order, that'd be 165, 173, 184, 212, and some one unknown. After his Homer's fifth game, is it possible for the median score to be 190? 
Well, we're going to do the same thing as the last example. And this is say that his last game was the best possible. Let's say 300. Uh, in that case, even if he bowled 300 in the fifth game, the median would be easier. And the 165, 173, 184, looks like the median would be 184. So, no, it's not possible to get to 190. The best his median could be is 184. Now, all bowling scores are integers between 0 and 300. So what are the possible values in the median after his fifth game? And again, we know four of them. We don't know the fifth. Well, we take, um, let's suppose we take any, uh, in the answer, uh, the answer overall is any number between 173 and 184, including both those numbers. So how do I get that answer? Well, let's first take the uh, let's take the case that he uh, his last game was his best, or at least better than 184. So let's say that he scored between you know 185, 186, 220, all that. In that case, his fifth game would be around here, and 184 would be the median. If his fifth game was 173 or less, then it could be way less. Um, the 173 would be the median because you would have your uh, your lowest score, uh, your fifth game, and the 165 would be the two lower scores. 173 would be the median, then 184, 212 would be above the median. And you have to get any score between those two. Well, that would be the median itself. So if my fifth score was say 175, I would have two numbers below it and two numbers above it. That fifth game would be the median. So if you put them all together, the median could be any number between 173 and 184. All right. Finally, one last one. Suppose I want to compute the mean and median of the following two lists of numbers. And you see that the two lists are identical except for that last number. So to find the mean, I would add them up. and divide by five, I can see it for the first one, the mean is 26.6 and the middle number is 25. For the next data set, you can see the mean is a lot higher but the median is basically the same. So in terms of how changing that last number affected the mean and median, well, changing from 37 to 370 had a big impact in the mean, uh, huge impact, had no effect at all on the median.